Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, it's time for another edition of Victory in Sight. This is God in Action Publications in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm Reverend Christopher Irvin, founder, CEO, and president of this organization. Today, I've got a powerful word for you. As always, I will be brief, but this is a word you need. We're about to go deep sea fishing into the word of God. And when we come up, I promise you, you're going to be blessed and you're going to be victorious. But first, Father God, as we come this morning, this afternoon, this evening to break bread, I ask that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart are acceptable in thy sight, my Lord and my Savior. Lord, I ask that you open up our ears, you open up our eyes, you open up our hearts, that we may see and that we may understand your word more fully. We ask these and all of these things in your Son, our Lord and Savior, Yahshua, Jesus Christ, holy name. And together we said, Amen. I said I'll be brief. I want to take a quick look at the powerful book of Joshua. This is a powerful book. It's one of my favorite books in the Bible because it's about the people realizing the promises of God and then acting upon them. Look with me at the third chapter of Joshua. And I said, I'll be brief. So I'm going to move real quickly through this this morning so you can get back to your day. But this is a word you need to place within your heart. Something's going to happen in 60 days from now. We'll have new leadership in America. And that means new leadership for the world. Are you ready? Okay, Joshua, third chapter, fifth verse. And God's word so read. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves. And I'm going to say that again. And Joshua said to the people, Sanctify yourself. Another word in an English term or the new uh, Bible is consecrate yourselves. For tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. And Jesus, Joshua Unto the priests, saying, Take up the ark of the covenant and pass over before the people. And they took up the ark of the covenant and went before the people. That means they went ahead. And then the people were to follow. But he gave them a strong piece of information that they needed to follow. Sanctify yourselves. Consecrate yourselves for tomorrow. The Lord will show you great things. And that's what God does. What is consecration? Uh, set apart or declare holy. Take some time. Meditate. That's consecration. He was telling the people, look back. Take some time in prayer and meditation and think about all the good things that God has done for you. Think about all the things that God has brought you through and that God has brought you to. Consecrate yourself. Set yourself aside from the rest of the world every now and then. Consecrate yourself. Sanctify. Make holy some time for God. The message for today you have to be prepared to cross. You have to be prepared to cross. If you don't consecrate, if you don't meditate upon the word of God, you're not going to be able to cross over the river Jordans of life. This is how the Israelites were able to cross over. They consecrated, they meditated. And in the first chapter of Joshua, the Lord told Joshua to do just this. The Israelites had been through so much, so much. Over 400 years of slavery and degradation. And now the promise of God was about to be fulfilled. But the message that he gave the people, you have to be prepared to cross. How? Consecrate yourselves. Sanctify yourselves. 
Separate yourselves. Take some time in prayer and reflection. African Americans, over 400 years of slavery and degradation. How did we come to where we are today? We had to consecrate. We had to separate. We had to take time for the Lord. And after we've done all that, it was time to act. And we acted. And we were victorious. And we were successful. And we crossed over a great river Jordan, just as the Israelites crossed. And people, we are continuing to cross, but you have to be prepared to cross. You have to have God in your heart, in your mind, in your soul. You have to consecrate yourself and be prepared. And after you've done all that, you're able to cross. So take a little time and realize in 60 more days, we're going to make some changes in America or we're not. If we don't prepare ourselves, if we don't go down on our knees and think about how good God has been to us, even throughout this pandemic, even throughout all we've been throughout the last four years, he's been good despite our haters who have continued to make us motivators. We have to do this. We have to consecrate ourselves. We have to be prepared if we are going to cross. I can't be prepared for you. And you can't be prepared for me. So it's important for us to remember this. We must each consecrate ourselves some time. We must each meditate and look back on how good God has been to us individually. If you do this, my brothers and sisters, you will be prepared for the crossing. Are you ready to cross? Are you ready for the victory? Are you ready? Because when you are, you become God in action because God is in action in and through you. And there are millions, millions of God's people in action today in and around the world. I don't care where you are in the world, if you're in India, if you're in Africa, if you're in Egypt, if you're in Spain, if you're in China, if you're in Russia, and you are a child of God, consecrate yourselves, separate yourselves, and let's get prepared to cross as a people, not as a white people, not as a black people, not as an Asian or an Indian or an African people, but as a human race. Consecrate yourselves. We've got to be prepared to cross. You've got to be prepared to cross. And when you consecrate yourselves, I want you to go back into this book when you have an opportunity. The book of Joshua. Read that first chapter too. Because he gives us a recipe. He gives us a recipe for that success each time, he says it three times, we must be courageous. We must meditate upon the word. We must turn from it neither to the left nor the right. And that he would bless everywhere our feet would trod. Everywhere we could go, he would bless us. Know that. Claim that. And you'll keep the victory in sight. That's all we have time for. I said it would be short. I'd like to keep these messages short so that they can give you the punch you need to get out into the world and be ready to cross. We ask that you bless this ministry. How? Pass this tape on so someone can know we have to be prepared to cross. We ask that you support this ministry. How? Go to Amazon.com and purchase my books and CDs. I have... 10 books and two CDs on Amazon.com. And you can get them, my CDs, on CD Baby also. And when you send us a love offering, we'll send you one of my CDs, Victory Insight. That's all we have time for. We love you. More importantly, God loves you. And knowing that, my brothers and sisters, keep the victory in sight.